y'all welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all this very simple holiday glam look so if you want to see how I got this look stay tuned my eyebrows are already done and now I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes using of course the NYX eye primer and I'm just going to place this primer all over my eyelid Remember that when you're using any type of color, you always need to start off with a primer that is a lighter skin tone. And I'm going to just spread this around using a brush. And now I'm going to go and use the Banana Powder by Revolution. And I'm going to place this on top of the eye primer to keep it from creasing. The first color that I'm going to start off with is the Summer in St. Tropez and I'm using the red color in the name Jet Set and I am going to apply the color using a blending brush and a blending brush is a very fluffy brush and the camera is a little blurry so please excuse that the crazy focus was going in and out but anyway I'm going to apply that red color a little bit above my crease area and I'm using a patent motion first just to get that color exactly where I want it and with the intensity that I want it and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend it together to take away the harsh lines. Next, I'm going into the Revolution Wild Animal Fierce palette and I am using the burgundy color and I'm going to be using the rounded brush. It's a small rounded brush for this color, particularly for the crease area. And I'm going to take that color and I'm going to place it directly into my crease. When you are creating a look with more than two colors it's important that you definitely do have a smaller brush that is particularly for the crease areas so that you don't mix those colors together and so i am being very careful to just really concentrate on my crease and i'm going back and forth in of course a windshield wiper motion to make sure that i'm getting right in there because sometimes if i don't i do see sort of like splotchy areas so i'm just going over it a couple of times to make sure that it's even and make sure that it's blended i'm now going in with the concealer brush and a concealer eyeshadow brush is very long it's very skinny and it's particularly useful for creases and i'm not really doing a crease with this look but i am going to apply some concealer on my lid before i add this last two colors and that is because the concealer really does kind of give me a guide so that i don't put that color on any other place but the lid and it causes that color to kind of stick exactly where i want it so you really don't need this step if you don't want to add the step but it really does kind of help me with this eyeshadow look um, because doing it without it, it just did not come out the way I wanted it to. So I am just placing it over the lid to give me kind of a guide of when I add those last two colors for this eyeshadow. I'm now going into the e.l.f. Hot Jalapeno Bite Size Cosmetics and I'm adding the light green. And I'm using just a regular eyelid brush and the eyelid brush is um, a little different than the concealer brush or crease brush because it's shorter but it still has a flat brush to it and I'm going in with that light green and I'm going to apply that to my lid so as you can see with the concealer the color kind of sticks to where it's supposed to go um, if I didn't have the concealer on there then the color would spread in areas I don't really want it spreading um, so the concealer just basically kind of uh, allows me to place it and, and let that color be exactly where I want it to be which is just on the lid Thank you. 
And the last color for this look is this color called Exotic in the Summer at St. Tropez. And I'm using a, again, a lid brush, but this is a different eyelid brush than I used before because I'm actually going to be wetting this brush and I didn't want to wet the other one. So I just used just some regular setting spray spray the brush and then I dip that brush into that eye color and then I add that glitter right on top of that green and the way that those colors mix together just was absolutely beautiful I felt like if I hadn't put the concealer on there it would not have came out the way I wanted to so um, I'm glad that I did that extra step so I'm just applying this on top of the green color of course you can apply or use any type of glitter that you want any type of shimmer that you want to really make that green pop and really give it a holiday feel the eyebrows are done and now i'm just going to go ahead and get my face together and i'm going through this really quickly because in my other videos i already go through what products i use for foundation and blush and powder and all that stuff so yeah i'm going to go through this pretty quick The look is finished and now I'm just going to go in with some lipstick and this is just some NYX. Um, it's a burgundy color and you can use whatever type of lipstick that you want for this particular look. I just decided to use red. I'm not a big red wear lipstick person so I am going in with a q-tip and kind of smudging it, blending it in a little bit, not making it so red. Um, and I actually like the way that looked better than I would have if I would have just left it alone because I just don't like the way red looks on my lips. But like I said, you can use whatever red lipstick that you want to wear to kind of tie this entire look together. And that is it you all that was definitely a simple holiday glam look don't you think this is michelle mazel thank you all for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video